Morning playmates. How we diddling? Really angry. Angry with myself. Came out without picking my boots up. I got a choice of this. <laughs> no grip on them at all. Or this. Has it got a grip on them? They'll have to do, won't they? How could I have been so bloody stupid? I do folks I'm in a better mood now started walking always gets you in a better mood don't it? a good walk breathing in this beautiful country air uh, several of you will notice where I started from is Birchover and no visit to Birchover is complete without a look around Rautor Rocks so I went there first it's a lovely place I could have spent longer there but I've got walking to do you can't hang around there all day, can you? Come out to do a couple more Peak 75s today. First one's not far away. You probably know what it is. It's up there behind me. Uh, and another one, which is very rarely visited. Uh, so yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Middle of September now. And all's looking good. Apart from this, just get on with it, don't you? Almost there.
So here we are. This is peak 75, number 60. It's Robin Hood's stride. That's got to be the top up there. <laughs> I ain't going up there. I don't think anybody goes up there. Why is it called Robin Hood's Stride? Well, according to an old 14th century folklore tale, Robin Hood was here and he jumped from that chimney to that chimney. What a lad. What a lad he was. Said from some, some angles that this, they also call it uh, Mock Beggar's Mansion, Mock Beggar's Hall. It's like a, a ruined hall. These are the two chimneys. Number 60, that only leaves 15. Get in. This is a good one. That's one to look up. Hello, looks like we've got some company. Hey up ladies. You gonna let me through? Hey, you gonna let me through folks? No harm to you am I? There's good girls. There's good girls. Just going this way. Nothing to see here. Hello. Where's the path? Right up here. Right, we got through them cows all right. No harm to you, are they? If I had a dog, it'd have been a different matter. Right, we've got to follow this lane now. For about a mile or so. It's just no hardship, is it? When lanes are this quiet, you could walk on them all day and it wouldn't matter. Forget it. It's a road to nowhere. There you go, look, you can clearly see the two chimneys from here. Can you imagine Robin Hood leaping from one to the other? What a lad. Okay, folks, look at this, look. The Berry Cliff Troughs. They say that this spring never dries up. And up until the 1940s, women and children from Alton, the village of Alton up there, used to walk up here with buckets and take them back to their houses. Yeah. Never dries out. Never dries up. That's got to be fresh water, isn't it? You could probably drink that. I'm not going to, though. Look at this. For a minute here, I thought my way had been barred. 30th of September, though. 2023? What? Oh, wow, that's a year old, then. We're not going to take no notice of that. Bloody hell. Okay. Peak 75, number 61, Anthony's Hill. Couldn't find no paths up. Scrambled up through rocks and bracken and it was bloody hard work. Don't really want to go down that way. Uh, you don't get many up here. There's a footpath either side of the hill, and uh, people just nip up. But 
I've got to find a way down here. I might have to go down the same way. Cracking booze though from up here. I might just go back the same way. I can make it to that footpath again then. But yeah, it's a cracking little top. I'll give you a view all the way round. Alton Village over there, which we're heading to next. Oh. Yeah, nice little top. Anthony's Hill, get in. Oh. Let's try and get off this hill now. We'll go this way. Right. Back at the troughs now, sitting there for something to eat, then we're heading off up to Alton. Here's the footpath to Alton. walking up here with buckets of water in your arms. Tough in them days weren't they? Not all wusses like they are today. to see the church was open. You don't get many open nowadays. Sadly the pub was shut. You can't have everything though, can you? The countryside around here is absolutely gorgeous. Especially on a day like today. village I just passed through Al Alton it's right on the division of gritstone and limestone apparently uh, there's examples of both rock in the buildings in the village it's just different isn't it gorgeous views I don't know if you can see Robin Hood's stride where we were first thing. Uh, oh, Birch over, the village we're heading for will be over there in the trees. Don't know if whether you can see that or not. I'm loving this, absolutely loving it. Just thought. Pub in Birchover might be open, mightn't it? Nice way to finish a walk, isn't it? We'll see. Don't get me hopes up. Just seen my first wasp. It's the middle of September and I've only seen one wasp all year. Where are they all gone? Not that I'm complaining, but 
they're all God's creatures, aren't they? All part of the circle of life. But it's a wasp free world at the moment. Usually swarming around at this time of year, aren't they? End of summer. I'm sure they'll turn up. Still looking nice and green everywhere. Long mat continue. Gate of the week. Very nice. Right then folks, that's it. Another one done. Well, another two done. Uh, Robin Hood Stride and Anthony's Hill. Or Anthony Hill? I can't remember. Anyway, that's a nice walk anyway. Only come in at around six miles, but Saturday, another day tomorrow. Do something else tomorrow, can't I? Yeah. Finished up with a nice pint of... Uh, well, the pint I had was Robin Hood's Stride uh, from the uh, Birchover Brewery here at the Red Lion. Very nice it was too. Uh, I'm going to make my way home now. Uh, see you again. Toodle pip and all that malarkey. We'll see you on the next one, mate. All right. See you then. See ya. Bye. Behave yourself, won't you? Bye.